Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by. Fly so high, come dream with me tonight. During our last story, we promised Prince Aaron that we would help him rescue his sister. We ran out of water and landed near a waterfall where we met the Willy Wutzit. He offered to lead us to the Wizard of Grunda, but on the way, we met some grunges who insisted we stay for lunch. The grunge's special suit had a strange effect on Prince Aaron, and he started a fight with Wooly, and the two of them fell off a cliff. Join us now for the next episode in our exciting adventure. Are you sure this is it? Yup! This is where we'll find the Wizard of Grundo. Well, let's go then. I'm anxious to meet this wizard of yours. Oh, you're gonna like him. I hear he's a real friendly guy. Who's there? You're right, Wooly. He sounds real friendly. Please, sir, you must help me find my sister, the princess. Did you say princess? That's right. The poor princess has been kidnapped. Poor princess? Forget it. You know, you don't understand if she's a rich, but an uh, unfortunate princess. Well, that's a horoscope of a different color. But my time is, uh, understandably, quite valuable. I'm a very busy wizard. I'm quite willing to pay. Then I'm quite willing to help. Oh, won't you come in? Great jumping, Jim Jams! What is that? Why, <laughs> well, he's our good friend, is a woolly what's it? A what's it? What's a what's it? Well, I'm not too sure, but he's still our friend. And he still can't come in. How come? Well, uh. He'll get fur all over my furniture. Well, okay. I'm sorry, Wooly. He wants you to wait outside. Oh, that's all right. It's kind of nice out here anyway. Hey, look. Popcorn. I'll only be a moment. Feel free to shop for souvenirs. Wizard calling Louie. Wizard calling Louie. Do you read me? Uh, what's up, Wiz? We have visitors. Return to the fortress immediately. Over. I'm on my way right now. Under. Not under, you dimwit. Over. Do you understand? It's over. What? Aw, oh, gee whiz. And I thought we were getting along so well. Oh, brother. <laughs> okay, boss. So who are these visitors? Louis, we got us a couple of live ones. Quick, do we have any footage on a lost princess? Oh, a princess, huh? Yeah, sounds kind of familiar. Uh, what she look like? Probably a lot like her brother. The one in the soldier suit. Hey, I know those guys. They're the same ones I took pictures of in the Mudluck prison. Never mind them. What about the princess? Yeah, yeah, here it is. I got great stuff of her with the Gatangs. Huh, wonder what she was doing with those guys. Well, put the film on the machine while I take care of our visitors. Forgive the delay, gentlemen. Now, if you'll set yourselves around this table, we can begin.
What are all these letters for? Uh, you'll see in due time. Please, sir, can we hurry? Every second is precious. Have patience, your highness. The spirits cannot be hurried. Spirits? <laughs> Does he mean like ghosts and stuff? Don't worry, Grubby. <laughs> Just watch. Okay, I'll watch. But I'm gonna keep my eyes shut while I'm doing it. I shall need total quiet. Everyone concentrate, so that we may bring forth the mystical powers of communication. Hmm. I said concentrate. I think we're making contact. Tell us, great spirit, where is the Princess Arusia being held captive? Listen, it sounds like a tambourine. She must have run off with a band of gypsies. Now it sounds like a drum. Uh-oh. She ran away from the gypsies and joined the army. Silence! I'm about to receive a call from the mystic messenger. Quick, what does it say? I don't know. It's a collect call. Thank you. Now, speak, O oh mystic messenger. Where is the princess being held captive? It, it, look! The arrow is moving. It's spelling out a word. G-U-T-A-N-G. Good tang? Of course. I see it all clearly now. Your sister is being held prisoner by the flying Gatangs. The flying Gatangs? Oh boy, a trapeze act. But my sister is afraid of heights. High in the treacherous mountains, the ancient hard-to-find city provides a stronghold for the Gutangs. The treacherous mountains, hard to find city. Say, isn't that where the treasure is supposed to be hidden? Shh. Did you say treasure? Huh? Who, me? Uh-uh, no. Please, wizard, you must give me more details. You must give me more coins. Let us see what the magic eye reveals to us. It, what exactly is the magic eye? Behold, and you shall see. Okay, okay. High atop the treacherous mountains, in a land that time forgot, lies the ancient and heavily guarded hard-to-find city. From this mountain fortress, the evil Gatangs maintain a constant vigil. With their many weapons and bat-like aircraft, which can be launched at a moment's notice, they stand prepared to fend off an attack by even the strongest of armies. That's her! That's my sister, Princess Arusia! Please, hold it down, Prince. You're ruining the picture for everyone else. And so, as the sun slowly sets on the hard-to-find city, we bid farewell to those nasty little varmints, the Gutangs. My sister is in terrible danger. We must rescue her. We certainly must. Let's make plans to get underway immediately. Quickly, wizard. How do we get to the hard-to-find city? Hmm. And uh, what about the popcorn? Here, take the last of my gold. Now tell us. Gladly. It lies to the northeast as the crow flies. Maybe we can trade our airship in for a crow. Grubby. Just joking. Wish us luck, Wooly. We're off to the hard to find city. Be real careful, fellas. I hear those good tangs are mighty tough customers. Don't worry. We've got a couple of tricks up our uh, uh, sleeves ourselves. You can say that again. We do? Let Go the bow lines! Fire up the furnace! Full speed ahead! So long, guys! Be careful! Bye-bye! See you So long, Wooly! You take good care of that princess! Yeah, climb, LB! Climb! I'm trying to, Twick. Can I help it if I'm bottom heavy? Well, naturally, you're bottom heavy. That's where your brains are. Oh, that's hitting below the belt, Tweez. <laughs> Not Tweez, Tweeg. One lousy syllable and you still don't get it right. Whoa. Be 
Can't you watch where you're falling? I did. I made sure I fell on something soft. Your head. <laughs> At this rate, we'll never get to the top of the treacherous mountains. I'll bet Gimmick and his cronies are already there. I don't think so, Tweak. Oh, what do you know, you poor excuse for a flunky? But I'm just trying to tell Will you, you that... stop interrupting me while I'm trying to feel sorry for myself? Okay, if you don't want to see the airship, there's no fur off of my nose. Airship? What airship? That airship. Oh, it's Gimmick and his crew. Then he hasn't reached the hard-to-find city yet. Why didn't you say something? Look, it's landing. I wonder what for. To take on supplies for the trip, of course. <laughs> well, they're in for a big surprise. What makes you say that, Twerk? Because the supplies they're taking on are you and me. <laughs> Thanks for bringing all the wood gimmick. I'll need it for this root stew I'm cooking. It's not for you, Grubby. This is fuel for the airship. We'll need lots of hot air to float us to the top of the treacherous, uh, uh, mountains. What are those things you and Prince Aaron are making, Teddy? It's a little surprise for the Gatangs, just in case we run into trouble. Oh, I certainly hope we don't. That's why it's best to be prepared. Which reminds me, how's that root stew coming along, Grubby? Just fine, Teddy. I'm glad to see you're developing a taste for root stew. For a while there, I thought you didn't like it. Me? Why, uh, certainly I like it. Well, that's good, because there's enough here to feed an army. I think you're right, Grubby. Now, where is that blasted thing? I know it's in here someplace. What you looking for, Tweez? A disguise. Well, no wonder you can't find it. The sky's up there. Oh, not the sky, you dipwit. Disguise. I'm going to dress up as something that I'm not. Oh, yeah? You got a nice guy costume in there? No, something even better. Aha! I found what I'm looking for. That ratty old dress. <laughs> How dare you make fun of it! This happens to have great sentimental value. My dear sweet grandmother sold it to me on a deathbed. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. LB, this disguise is going to get us a free trip to the top of the treacherous mountains. It is? How? Watch! Please, sir. Could you help out a poor, hungry old lady with a small cash loan? Gee, I'd like to, but my boss, Tweak, ain't paid me since last Grundo Groundhog Day. You idiot! I'm Tweak! I mean, Tweak! Hey, you are! Gee, what a great performance! If I had hands, I'd applaud! There'll be time enough for curtain calls later. Meanwhile, hop in here. Why should I? Because I'm ordering you to, you miserable little bounder. Okay, how did you explain it? That's better. Gentlemen, prepare to lift off. Ready when you are, Gimmick? Just say the word, Gimmick. Let go the lines, Prince Aaron. Aye, aye, Gimmick. Wait up, kind sir. Wait. Can you help a little old lady who's in distress? What little old lady? I thought you were in distress. Not in distress, you dummy! In distress! Hold everything, Gimmick. It's a little old lady. Why, bless my uh, buttons. So it is. Kind sir. Uh, would you have room for one more passenger to the treacherous mountain? Two, Twizzle, two. I doubt if you'd want to accompany us, madam. We're on an extremely dangerous mission. That's right. Top secret and very hush-hush. Let me tell you all the details. Ah, uh, never mind, Grubby. Aaron is right, madam. It might prove quite risky for a delicate person like yourself. <laughs> but I simply must see my granddaughter. The poor child is ailing, and I promise to bring her this basket of goodies. <laughs> uh, by all means, madam. Please, uh, come aboard. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You certainly know how to cheer up little old ladies, Gimmick. 
There it is, the hard to find city. It wasn't so hard to find after all. No, it wasn't. Just think, somewhere down there, my sister Arusia is being held captive. Don't worry, Prince Aaron. We'll help you find her and rescue her. Thank you all for being such loyal and trusted friends. All right, crew, prepare to land the airship. Gentlemen, and thank you for everything. Oh, it has been our uh, uh, pleasure, madam. Hey, white lady, you forgot your basket of goodies. <laughs> Why, gracious me, so I did. <laughs> My lovely little granddaughter is simply crazy about frogs' legs. Uh, goodbye, madam. Hmm. There's something kind of strange about that little old lady. I think you're right, Teddy. But now we must try to locate my sister. Troops, forward march! We're right behind you, Prince Aaron. Look, it's the same building we saw in the wizard's magic eye. You're right, Teddy. That's where they took my sister. How can you be sure we're going the right way, Prince? I can't. I'm just following my instincts. And my instincts were correct. Ow! Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, sorry! It's her. It's my sister, Arusia. Oh, yes. I can definitely see the family resemblance. Really? Of course. You were also in a prison cell when we first met you. How do we overpower these two uh, guards? Like this. You there, guards! I'm relieving you both of your duty! How are you gonna do that? There's only one of you! Like this! <laughs> He's right! I'm seeing double! It's all right, Arusia. You can come out now. That voice! It sounds so familiar! Well, it should. You've heard it since you were a baby. Aaron! You found me! Yes, with the help of these loyal friends. Hello, Your Highness! I'm Newton Gimmick. And I'm Teddy Ruxpin. And I'm Grubby. I'm pleased to meet all of you. And thank you for helping me escape from this horrid place. <laughs> You're welcome, Princess. But now, we must disguise you as a, a good thing. Here you are, Princess. We can get you out of here if you'll put this on. What a terrible thing to look like. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
In our next story, our search for the missing Princess Arusia leads us to discover the long-lost treasure in the temple of the hard-to-find city. We find more than we bargained for as the Katangs discover us, and we barely make it back to the airship in time, just when it looks like we'll be safe. We find out just how fierce those Gatang warriors really are. Join us, please. We might need your help. Ruxpin. I'm going to have my own series next year. Come join me and my friends for more exciting adventures very soon. <laughs>